Welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily program on Nifty Bank, Nifty, USD, INR. <laughs> what do we do in this? We look at Nifty, we look at Bank Nifty, we look at USD, INR, we look at charge, date, OI data, and FA data. And we try to form an informed opinion on the general trends of the market, uh, which is where is Nifty and Bank Nifty and USD, INR, which is dollar, most likely to go tomorrow. And how do we react to the situation <laughs> regardless of what market throws at us? And finally, <clears throat> we figure out uh, what are some good trades to capitalize our market views right so without further ado oh, today was an expiry day as usual there's a lot of verified by trending shenanigans so let me just uh, show that uh, yeah i'm guessing you are seeing the fi data okay perfect so if you are new to this entire verified by sensible scene, this is what you have to do. You can go to Twitter. You can search for very fide by sensible. It's a trending hashtag and you can click on top and you can see the top comments here. Like so many people are, it's like a ritual, right? Every Friday, all traders get together and share their real verified legitimate screenshots, right? It's, it's like a, it's like a thing it can become a thing right and now i know there are third parties who are now arranging a leaderboard of you know our uh most verified guys and all oh see there's a leaderboard here somebody else is making it pm is making it but you can see so many other i don't know what this is okay people are making me it. but it's generally fun you can see so many screenshots get so many other people figure out what they are doing uh, how they are managing their risks, how they are controlling their emotion, etc., etc. Uh, but it's a it's a fun exercise. I'll encourage you to absolutely try this out. Uh, how do you do this? You just go to your. Uh, so I have uh, another test positions account. I think this is my company account. So you can see that there is some uh, uh, share verified period. It comes like this. You can link your Twitter and. You know, you can authorize app. I mean, you know the drill. So, but uh, I don't share trade from my company account. Of course, we don't gamble uh, using. I don't think we are uh, authorized to trade as a, you know, a semi-registered entity. So the company does not trade. But if you want to trade, you know where to trade. But anyway, that was. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, Money is asking, how do we change my broker account in Sensible? You can write to support. They should help you out. Um, uh, okay. So first up, Nifty, right? So this is early to say it, but I have a feeling there's a new channel forming in Nifty and that channel is this, right? And the top of the channel is somewhere around 19500. Maybe we'll see uh, some dip, which could be an opportunity to buy. And it looks like the top, there's an upside of 19500 possible. I'm not saying that it'll happen tomorrow. Tomorrow could be down, up. We don't know. We'll figure out at the end of this thing. But as of now, the first thing is that we have an upside coming. Right. So, sorry, I forgot to open this thing. <clears throat> Let me just add this. Right. Sorry. So, Nifty, the first thing is, Today, Nifty formed a doji and doji is generally an indecision pattern for pause, right? Similarly, Bank Nifty also is forming a red candle and it is slightly, very, very, very slightly below the middle of this channel. So Nifty and Bank Nifty both taking a pause doji, right? Nifty and Bank Nifty both taking a pausing doji. Right? Doji is indecision candle. So indecision is the market and then <clears throat> tomorrow since it's a weekly expiry, let's also see, but weekly is looking good because a uh, small doji has been um, cover, covered by an en engulfing bullish and engulfing bullish is confirmed. So I'll write that also on weeklies, weekly candle, nifty confirmed bullish engulfing. Right. Let me see the comments. Absolutely saying all gambling is going on here. <laughs> but um, 
again a blur view i don't think it's a blur view here i'm broadcasting in hd okay so that's one now let's look at bank nifty's weekly candle that must be different i'm guessing it's e no actually no even that is looking pretty strong but it's not as strong as nifty so i won't pass the view here dollar we talked about it there is some downside uh, yesterday it was clearly below that uh, 50 dma so dollar as we expected has softened a little bit it can take support somewhere around 80 80 this 200 dma and if that breaks and this trend line breaks we can see even a uh, further fall but let's not get ahead of ourselves and watch this trend line right the second thing of course is we have to look at uh, rakesh is saying blurred view is anybody else seeing a blurred view or is it just me analyze open interest blurred video is it 240p i'm at i'm at full definition full hd i'm showing no so i'll tell you what right when you're watching live if your internet is not super fast it can appear blurred but so a lot of people are seeing blurred some people are saying not blurred maybe you should check your internet because if you have a slower connection uh, it can happen. Increase your resolution. My resolution is very high here. I'm broadcasting full HD, 1080p. Uh, yeah, like 1080p. See, I mean, there's nothing. Okay. <laughs> Animation saying it's clear as verified PNL. Uh, so I don't know why some people are getting blurred. Um, but anyway, so I'll see after this thing because some people are seeing non blurred. So it might be different. Now, if you look at next expiry, 8 December open interest edition today, 19,000 clearly is a big resistance. 18,000 is the support and resistance both. 18,800 18, is indecision, 19,000 resistance. So let me write that down. 18,800 has and puts indecision. 19,000 has resistance. Right? PCR must be low let me see one no oh, that's interesting i wonder why oh because there are puts here okay pcr is one <clears throat> mildly bullish i mean mildly because compared to last few days it's nothing right now <clears throat> let's look at fi data fi data is uh 70 000 quantities called sold 54,000 quantity puts bought that is very strongly bearish actually and you can see that the green has come close to the red here sorry the red has come close to the green so bearishness is building up so 70k calls sold 55k puts bought bearish futures data is 500 crore sell And stock data is fifteen hundred crore sell. This is all negative. So, yeah, guess to here blue trade. <laughs> so, sorry. So, so um, that is crazy. So many people are saying it's blurred. I don't really know what's the deal here. Uh, See, some people are saying blurred, some people are not saying not blurred. I don't know what's happening. Let me just uh, speed, speed dot cloud fair. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's not. It's not an internet speed issue. So anyway, but so so now finally what's my verdict right market may pause and even take a dip better to uh, stay out uh, slightly dip bias so better to stay out so yesterday we were saying it's not a bad idea to book some profits or uh, Better to stay out or slightly short, right? I don't mean mega short, slightly, slightly short, because I'll tell you why, right? 
there is a buy on dip so you can play that tiny dip for a week or so uh, of course there is no long term shorting uh, uh, so i let me not write this because if i write this the problem is people will short right market may pause even take a dip mid term to long term is still bullish buy on dip right but there can be a dip right because i think it can take some resistance at 18 19000 or something it can come back to the middle of this channel hover around here a little bit maybe little bit it can correct and probably go to 18600 or something uh, but net net i won't want to play against the longer term trend right uh, so uh, trades i mean you can trade for the weekend theta like uh, it's very tempting to trade for the weekend theta so maybe maybe just maybe if you want it if you really want it i mean not trading is a good idea because see ultimately we captured such a big rally right even in the last few days we were long so it's a lot of it's a lot of roi on whatever spreads we took calls we took or anything right it's a lot of roi because from 6800 we have been <coughs> long even recently from 8200 we have been long so so many points accumulated now let's not try to do something and give money back to the market right so not trading is a good idea i'll strongly recommend that but if you want to trade a weekend theta with 19000 call bull uh, bear call spread right so what is a bear call spread so let's evaluate if the trade has any money in it um strategy builder oh by the way strategy builder has a lot of new strategies added you can see all of them bullish bearish every the calendar spread uh, condors risk reversal like uh, double plateau batman i i, I mean yeah it's, yeah it's it's double iron condor double plateau call it whatever you want um okay so let's for a change let's do something neutral right because i am always doing this same old same old uh, bearish trade so let's evaluate a neutral strategy and my strategy for today is batman so what does batman do as long as nifty stays within a range of 18000 uh, so the break here is 18500 and 19200 right if it stays in the range for this entire week uh, you will make an roi of roughly 1.4% not bad right i mean chalega yaar what's the harm in this right so you can evaluate batman if you are neutral because why it's a buy on dip market which means that when it goes to 1800 there will be support but we also saw a lot of puts being built up at 19000 so it is unlikely to cross that if you do the batman and if this 500 point range is respected then you will end up making 1.4% return but i have one problem with batman because batman is not hedged and there is unlimited risk on both sides right but if you are for those of you who like to live dangerously this can be a nice strategy you can also try reverse jade lizard it has a break even at around 19055 and again this is also a range bound strategy break even is at 18300 and 19000 and you almost get like a 4 and 4.3% return if it remains in the neutral so basically i am biased towards neutrality basically i am saying that 18500 ke niche nahi jayega maybe 19000 ke upar bhi nahi jayega so quickly so my range is 19000 to i mean 18000 9 18500 to 19000 is my range so jade lizard is an alternative you can also do a um, condor right uh, iron condor I mean, this is a very tight iron condor this is a very very aggressive iron condor please don't do this i would say that you can sell a 19000 call and niche ka put you can probably do an 18000 400 put or something 18 18400 put sell 19000 call sell if you want you can even go wider 19100 call or something even this is giving you 2.6% return right so basically i will evaluate all the strategies which are either range bound uh, or basically weekend theta earning or basically my hypothesis is this expiry nothing big might happen because we have a lot of calls building up let me just see why he didn't do show open interest right so 
yeah i mean you can see this here right this 19000 has a huge oi and maybe this eight, like below this we can see chart may there is enough action going on uh, so maybe so either i'm going to be doing neutral strategies like this or what i'll do is if you want to go for some weekend theta or if you're slightly negative bias thinking that you're both okay a dip dip aega, you can probably go for a bear call spread right i don't want to do any premium paid strategies i would only want to receive premium this particular expiry this is also not a bad thing and you can play it even safer by keeping the strikes farther right instead of doing this so close aggressive thing right keep your sell strike at 19000 you'll it's not bad you'll make 8% return but i mean actually lower because i have some positions running which is why it is showing so low uh, so so high return uh, the margin might be slightly more than that but in any case this is a nice strategy also because as long as it stays below 19000 you'll make decent return right so what's my what are my trades uh, i'll try to uh, uh, earn premium i won't do any premium paid strategies this week because i don't think there will be a significant move so i'll either sell call spreads or do neutral strategies i have a slightly bearish bias for this type which is why i'm not doing put spreads i'll do 90,000 bear call spread or iron condors right i mean or batman i mean whichever you like right? you can see on the list of strategies available play around a little bit and figure out your decision Right. New strategies are not available in app. We'll do that. Gaurav is asking, how about Ironfly? Yeah, Ironfly, my problem is it's a tiny, tiny range you're playing for. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Uh, 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 <laughs> GST data was also released here. No idea. Offer what? Like, no, no, that I've just dismissed it. There is an offer still there. Uh, you can click on the anniversary sale on top right corner. Uh, Tata Motors and Condor, I'm not sure about it. SGX Nifty, there were, well, people should change to 720p. Really? Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay. So this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again. Uh, Blue Trader is saying congrats. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So we are completing five years this year. Somewhere, December 21st or something is our uh, exact founding date. Uh, but we'll... Uh, I mean, but we started work somewhere in October. We don't really have a founding date. We remember it as somewhere between November and December of 2017. Uh, Arsh is asking dark mode. Yes, Arsh, we are adding a universal dark mode very soon. Is it possible to trade via Sensible if my broker is Kotak? Kotak, as we are talking, most probably something will work out soon. Um, yeah, we would love to integrate with a few brokers. I'll, we'll be announcing the names also very soon. So anyway, this is it from Sensible today, for me today. We'll see you again uh, sunday thank you so much guys for joining uh again and thank you for the love and support for the last five years uh <laughs> jitendra is saying what two year plan is not planning itj <laughs> so but but uh yeah that's it from us we'll see you again uh so as usual guys it's not uh tips please don't uh take the trades because you know uh, I'm giving a recommendation. There's no recommendation. It's just analysis on the general trends of the market. On that note, I'll take your leave. Please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.